Hello everyone, welcome to Lime Geo channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about basic data types available in Java programming language. So let's get started. So let me write down here so the topic that we are going to discuss is basic data types in Java. Let me write down here data types in Java. So we are not going to discuss each and every data type, but but I am going to explain you the most uh, used data types in Java, which 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 are going to be useful for you uh, while writing your program. And before going into data types, let me give you some brief idea. What is the meaning of a data types, right? So whenever let's say you want to store some numbers, or you want to store some characters, uh, or you want to store some words in 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 some variables, there are some types of data types which Java offers. Let's say uh, let's say uh, you want to add two numbers or you want to store store a number a equal to 10 for example right so this uh, variable has to be of some type only then it would be store uh, this integer or, or a number 10 uh, as a value in variable a so here you can see that this is of uh, type integer right so if you want to create integer type uh, variables then you'll have to define the type as int right so this is a uh, this is a data type which java offers uh, for storing your integer type variables so what i wanted to tell you is data data types are something which helps you to store type of uh, values in a particular variable right the type of data uh, which you want to store in a particular variable uh, in order to use uh, in order to store the type of data you need to use the relevant data types only if you want to store integer variables then you'll have to store integer data types if you if you want to store some character values in some variable then you'll have to use the character data types so there are different type of data types available in java and we are going to discuss those uh, data types and i'm going to tell you like how do you use those data types what are data types are available in java right so uh, the first uh, as i showed in this example the first data type uh, is the integer type uh, data uh, integer type right uh, so in order to use integer type uh, data type you need to use this keyword int then variable name a equal to 10 and then this 10 is going to be stored as integer in your integer variable a so this is the first data type that i want to discuss the second data type that i want to discuss is the uh, long long what is the meaning of long so if you want to store some long numbers uh, you'll have to use this keyword long a equal to let's say you want to store a very big number let's say one four five seven eight nine uh, three two one five six so you want to store so much big number in some variables so in order to do that you will need you will have to use um, long data type and the, the keyword for using long data type is long similar to uh, similar to keyword for uh, integer like for integer it, it was int for long it is long and one thing is that uh, uh, in the long variable you will have to use key uh, you'll have to use a character l after uh, after your number so let's say if your number is this and uh, you'll have to use l in the end and then you'll have to store it in some variables and then it would be taken as a long variable right so this is how you store long variable this is how you use long long data type right the third data type that i'm going to discuss is the uh, float float so what is the meaning of a float float is basically it's a data type if you want to store some decimal numbers let's say i want to store 1.75 uh, if I want to store this in A, then I'll have to use a data type as float. So for storing decimal numbers, I'll have to use uh, floating type data type. And if for storing floating type data type, I'll have to use a character F in the end. Uh, like in the long variables, I'll have to use L in the end. For floating type variables, I'll have to use F in the end. So it's going to store uh, 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 a decimal number 1.75 in variable A as a floating number, as a decimal number. The fourth data type that I'm going to discuss is the uh, is a double, double. So double. Uh, so again, double is again used for uh, storing decimal numbers, uh, similar to float. But the difference is that double can store long decimal numbers also. Let's say my uh, my number is three point one four one four. Uh, two three five seven eight nine six uh, let's say my decimal places are huge there are a lot of decimal places which i want to store with greater precision um, so if you want to store highly precise number with a high number of decimal places then in those cases you will use uh, a double number right uh, in float there is restriction that you can store uh, decimal places up to a certain number but uh, in double you can store uh, this limit is uh, the, the number of decimal places would be more than as compared to the 
uh, number of decimal places in float so if, if you have a requirement to store high decimal places then you can use double otherwise you can use float right the uh, next data type that i'm going to discuss is the character type uh, character which is char so character uh, or char data type is used to store your alphabet let's say if you want to store any alphabet in between a to z let's say i want to store uh, d d as my alphabet uh, i can store this alphabet d in variable a which is of type char so this is how i can store any character uh, within my uh, variable and uh, in order to store the character uh, this is the the syntax is little bit different from numbers in numbers you can directly store the numbers uh, as it is uh, in in the in, in your uh, data type but for character you will have to, to use single quotes and within the single quotes you will have to specify your character which you want to store in character data type so it's going to store d character in variable a which i can refer to in my program right so this is uh, so character data type is used to store characters uh, in your java program the next data type which is a mostly most widely used uh, data type is the string so if i want to let's say store some kind of a uh, series of characters or I want to store some words uh, or I want to store some sentences uh, within some variable then I can use uh, string data type so I can write string a equal to let's say hello world hello world so that this complete word uh, which is hello world this complete sentence or uh, these two words as a complete will be stored in this variable a uh, which is of string type so string type uh, is used to store uh, uh, a series of characters um, or you can say a series of words or or, or multiple words or sentences whatever you any anything um, any word which is greater than one character has to be stored as a data type of type string right and and the syntax for storing string keywords or string variables is you will need to define your string value and it has to be stored uh, within double quotes so this is again a little bit different syntax for character it was a single quote for strings it's a double quote so within double quotes uh, you will need to assign your string value or, or, or sentence or a word to to a variable so here i am assigning it to variable a which is of type string right and the last variable uh, the last data type that i want to discuss is the boolean data type so boolean data type is basically used to uh, store only two values which is either true or false let's say you have some conditional requirement where you want to store true or false type of value then you can store it in uh, boolean uh, type of data type so what what it is doing is i either a can be true or a can be false let's say i assign true as a value uh, to variable a and it is of type boolean so whenever a variable is uh, of type boolean it can hold only two values either true or false it cannot hold any other values so this is specifically used for uh, uh, for uh, storing a true false kind of a values in any variables right so th these are all the data types uh, that uh, i wanted to cover these are the mostly wide, mostly used data types that you will encounter in your java programming language so uh, if you look at these data types so these are uh, the first four are your number number type data types so these are basically used to store any kind of a number now this number can be uh, integer number it can be long number it can be decimal numbers it can be long decimal numbers so these are four data types which is integer long float and double integer is for integers long is for long integers float is for small decimal uh, numbers double is for long decimal numbers and the, the last three are for storing your um, uh, I, I, i'll say the characters or sequence of characters right so like character is store used to store a single character string is used to uh, store uh, uh, the the series of characters. Uh, so the uh, I'll say that these two are your character, not the third one. Uh, and third one is different. The third one is basically to store a special type of value, which is either true or false. This is boolean. So this is number. This is characters or sequence of characters. And this is your another special type of uh, data type, which is for true or false. True or false only these two values can be assigned to a boolean variable so 
i hope you get the idea of what are different types of data types now i am going to uh, tell you practically that how do you use these uh, variables in your program so let's let's take a a uh, sample program which we have created in a, in our earlier session we created my program uh, which was a hello world program so we are going to use the same program uh, to um, to use these different type of variables right so uh, different type of data types we will use let's say first data type is integer type so i'll say int a equal to uh, let's say uh, 12 i assign a number 12 and then i print this as a so if i print it so what what would be the output the output would be 12 let's remove these two lines uh, uh, i don't need my hello world program now so let's remove these two lines just to make the program simpler let's run it again so you can see 12 has been printed right so this is integer data type let's uh, now use another data type which is long in the long i can use very big numbers and in the end i'll have to use l so once i use l or you can use either small l or capital l uh, both would be acceptable and now if i try to print so what would be the output you can see that complete number has been printed right so this is if you want to store long numbers you will use long right let's use float now float is for basically for my decimal numbers so i'll say let's say 1. 75f right so f can be either small f or capital f both would be acceptable let's try to run this program and see what is the output so it has printed 1.75 so i have assigned 1.75f but it has assigned a value 1.75 to a which is my decimal number 1.75 and it it has printed 1.75 now let's print let's use double so double is basically for highly precise decimal numbers uh, if i want to have many numbers of uh, uh, many numbers of decimal places many digits of decimal places uh, and i don't need f here for double so if i try to print this uh, you can see what is the output so it has printed the output with the same number of digit uh, decimal places which i have used here right but if i let's say uh, if i use float instead of double then what would be the output so i'll have to use f here uh, let's run the program now so if i use float you can see the number of digits are not after decimal places it has removed some of the uh, digits after the decimal places my input was this where i have more number of digits in decimal places but the output is less number of digits in out, uh, in in the output so float is basically used for small number of decimal places but if you want to use uh, for a large number of decimal places then then you'll have to use double let's change it back to double and let's try to run the program again then you can see that the all, all my decimal places digits have been printed now it can store all the decimal places but float was not able to do so right so this is a difference between float and double so th these uh, what all we have discussed till now are the number data types which is integer long float double let's try with some character also now let's say my data type is character uh, and my character is let's say uh, i want to store y in this let's try to print this let's run this program if i run this program you can see y has been printed right let's try with strings now strings string a equal to let's say it's uh, i i use lime guru let's try to print this uh, the error is coming because in the string you will have to use double quotes instead of single quote so i'll replace single quote with double quote and if i try to run this program so you can see it has printed lime guru um let's say i print i use another string which is hello lime guru uh and i try to use the same data type which is of string type and let's try to print this so it has printed my uh, sentence as hello lime guru so for series of characters if you want to store you will have to use string right let's try to use the last data type which we discussed which is boolean so boolean is a special type of data type which is which can either be true or false so i'll have to let's say 
uh, i'll have to uh, define it as a true or false i have assigned it as a value true let's try to run this if i try to print a it has printed true if i change it to false uh, it will be changed to false and it will try to print the value as false if i try to assign any other value let's say hello uh, it would be error if i try to give it in double quotes it would again be error because boolean variables can only take two values either true or false if you try to assign any other value then it would be error in your program um, and this is that is why it's a special data type which can store only two values either true or false so i hope you you got the idea about all these data types which is integer long float double character string and boolean um, if you like this video do not forget to press the like button do share this video with others and do not forget to subscribe lime guru channel thank you